today, I'm going back in time. In fact, I've been going back in time this whole week if I've uh, posted this on the correct day. Uh, we're going back to Ancient Times with Ancient Realm by Steve Aramani. And this is a pocket game or a, you know small format game that is published by Button Shy Games. And I will put uh, this in my uh, playlist for Button Shy Games. I've done um, a previous video that talked about several Button Shy Games, but I picked up uh, a whole uh, packet of these. Uh, it was a Christmas sale. Imagine that. It was a pre-Christmas uh, or cr around Christmas time uh, sale, and uh, I just got these. That's how long these take. Well, these would not have taken as long, but there was one uh, one of the uh, offerings that was a uh, kind of a pre-order. Uh, that one uh, got delayed and just became available. So uh, something you got to watch out for with uh, Button Shy is you've got to look at the release dates or the delivery dates or the production dates because... Uh, they do get behind, and you might wait uh, several months, like um, six <laughs> months. Uh, but uh, but are they worth the wait? Well, uh, I'll let you be the judge. Um, I generally like these. They're small format. They come in these uh, little wallet here, uh, and there's not a ton of cards that are in the game. But there, that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of gameplay in these little wallets here. Uh, this is Ancient Realm, and the rules for Ancient Realm will come in this little little rules folder here. Very small, as you can see, it fits into my uh, hand here. Uh, and this is a little fold-out, so you got eight pages of rules. So there's four there, and four there. Well, actually three, since you got the cover. So you got seven pages of rules, small pages of rules. And this is a basically, you know, get a high score and, and see how you did type situation. This is a solo game. Not all of their button shy games are solo games, but several of them are. And they're kind of known for their, you know, solo uh, small format games. This is one player, ages eight plus, and takes 20 minutes. But there is uh, quite a few decisions in this. So what you are going to do, and this is... Uh, do not take my explanation as a definitive rules ex explanation because I have not uh, I have not played this game. I've just kind of watched it being played. I've seen some other people talk about it, and it looked interesting. But basically, you're going to have uh, resources here, uh, th four different types of resources. I think that's uh, coin and stone and food and wood maybe i'm not sure what that is i gotta look what that is but you're gonna have these different resources and you're going to be playing these cards and getting like you start off with zero and then you get one then you get two then you get three and you flip these over you go four five six seven so you could that's how you keep track of your resources um but this is going to be, it's kind of a, somewhat of a tile laying game, but it's also kind of a laying over stuff. You're going to be making decisions. You've got, uh, uh, there's different types. There are wonders uh, that come in the game. And then there are, let's see, let's get all the wonders over to the one side. And then you're going to have uh, the regular cards. And these have abilities. You're going to have two stacks and you're going to have an uh, open deck of some that are available and that's part of the decision making is you're going to be making decisions on what uh, what to take. Uh, I think you always have a wonder. I think there's I think you put four out and then maybe have one wonder out and then you'll have you know these these available as well. But um, you, what you decide to play take and play is part of the decision process. And some of these have special abilities. This is the caravan arrives and so. You can, as long as this is face uh, uh, turned over, you can use that ability, but it is when you have to refill the deck, if you refill from this deck, then you're gonna lose that special ability or that action, and but you'll have something available to place. And when you place items, you're gonna you know, place it, and then you can, you know, there's, there's different um, resources cost, and then of course you're gonna be overlaying and then using the special abilities. Uh, again, this do not take this as a rule summary, I'm just giving you a general overview. The wonders have um, uh, uh, 
are, are important to build in that they give you even more uh, uh, special abilities and give you, you know, point score, you know, give you uh, more points at the end of the game. Uh, these purple things are kind of your, your point scores. Uh, and if something's uncovered, you'll get it. But uh, as you're playing the game, you're going to be uh, covering up certain things to take advantage of the uh, resources or the ability on there. So that's the, again, do not take this as a rule summary, but you're going to be keeping track of your resources kind of down below. You're going to be selecting cards from an open tableau and then playing them into your tableau and then putting stuff and covering up stuff over time. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, you're going to want to build some wonders because, you know, they give more points. But you're also going to be using some of the uh, special abilities, mainly on the back of this deck here. So that is Ancient Realm. As I said, it takes about 20 minutes. I mean, it, it can take as long as you want to make decisions. It's kind of a puzzly. I mean, mo a most solo games have kind of a puzzle feel to them because you're trying to figure out what's the best move. And then once you've made that move, you know, you've, you've eliminated other choices that you can make. Uh, there is an expansion to this that I picked up. This is the Ancient Realm Monuments and Misfortunes. So this is a little bit of an expansion here that you can just add right in there. It's got its own little rule summary, which is just one page. And then you've got some new cards in here. That, and I'll just put this right into my wallet here because this wallet is not very big, but it can hold all these cards here. Uh, so uh, you've got this expansion that just adds some more of these cards, which gives you some new special abilities or actions to take advantage of, but also some cards that you're going to be buying for the resources and then sticking them over, you know, covering up stuff to use their other abilities. And if what's ever uncovered, of course, you get these victory points at the end. So this one's called Monuments and Misfortunes. So true to its name, you've got some misfortunes in here. You've got some you know, monuments like an uh, arch, an obelisk, but you have misfortunes like earthquake, drought, uh, and uh, blight on there, as you can see right there. So there you have it. That is uh, Ancient Realms, both the base game and the uh, expansion that uh, so far, I mean, I guess they could come out with additional expansions. Um, again, I've, I've just seen it played. I haven't had a chance to, because I got just got this, so I haven't had a chance to really play it out. But it does, it looks relatively uh, simple to play, you know, what you select, using abilities, covering up stuff, and the like. It did not, and keeping track of your resources, it did not look overly complicated. Says it plays in about 20 minutes. Again, I think that's probably about right. Uh, it might play shorter if you uh, make some bad decisions and box yourself out of a situation, or it might play longer if it takes a while for you to make decisions, but it's really not something that's going to overstay its welcome. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by. I'd love to know your thoughts on this game or any of the other uh, button shy games that they have offered out there. Thanks, all. Thanks for watching.